In this problem, we're told a person walks 25 degrees north of east for 3.1 kilometers. How far due north and how far due east would she have to walk to arrive at the same location? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on. So we know that this person is going to walk north of east, right? So imagine this line, north of east, right? So north, east, south, west. So they're going to walk this direction, right? North of east, right? And so they're going to walk this way. And they say 3.1 kilometers and then the angle, right, in a 25 degrees, right? And it's north of east because this is the east direction, east, uh, east direction, and they're going 25 degrees north of it, right? So 25 degrees north of east. And so this is our drawing. And so what we're trying to do here is they say how far due north and how far due east. So essentially what we're trying to do is find this length right here, how far due north do they have to walk, and then how far due east, right? So we're trying to solve for this, right? And so we can solve for this, right, by using um, trig. So we're just going to rewrite it as a triangle, and that's just going to make it easier to solve. So we know that this length right here is 3.1 uh, kilometers, and then this is going to be 25 degrees, right? So how do we solve for each of these sides? We're trying to solve for this, which is the side due east, right? I'm going to label it x, and then this is going to be how far they walk north, right? Because how far they walk east and north is just going to be represented by these variables. And so what we're going to do is use trig to solve these, right? And so if you think about it like a vector, you can solve for the vector components by using these formulas. So for x, it's basically just the magnitude, right, which is the hypotenuse side. We can just label this m. m times the cosine of the direction, which is your angle. And then for y, it's y equals m times the sine of the angle. Right, so these are the formulas you can use to solve for these if you think of them just like a vector, right? Because this is basically a vector. You're given a direction and a magnitude, okay? So basically, we just want to solve for x and y, so we can just plug it in. So for the x, right, which is how far do uh, east they're going to walk, right, it's just m. Uh, which is going to be 3.1 multiplied by the cosine of our angle, which is 25 degrees, right? So 3.1, plug in your calculator, 3.1 times the cosine of 25. You're going to get 2.8, right? So 2.80955. I'm just going to round to 2.81. You can round to wherever you want, though. Keep in mind it's going to be kilometers because that's the unit of our magnitude. So 2.81 kilometers. For this one, it's going to be 3.1, right, the m, times the sine of our direction, which is 25. So 3.1 times the sine of 25. When you do this, you're going to get 1.3101166 and so on. I'm just going to round to 1.31. So 1.31 kilometers, this is going to be the y, right, which is how far north, right? So 2.81 kilometers, since this is the x direction and the direction it goes in is east, 2.81 kilometers east. And then 1.31, this is the y, which is upwards, which is north. So 1.31 kilometers north. Uh, but yeah, so this right here is going to be uh, how far they have to go east, right? And this is how far they have to go north to get at the same location. But yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.